All right, well, I don't know what's been going on on my show lately. It says that it's called champagne-flavored ice cream, but it could taste like anything, like the fried chicken Pepsi that I had that tasted like lemon Pepsi, or the Kraft macaroni and cheese gummies that I had yesterday that tasted like tangerines. For all I know, this will end up tasting like... A1 sauce or Champagne, Illinois. Mmm, tastes just like good old fashioned takeout slim chickens. <laughs> I'm still mad about this, by the way. Oh, is the excuse, eh, but no one would buy it if it actually tasted like macaroni and cheese. But no one would look at this and think that it tastes like fruit. They'd think that it tastes like macaroni and cheese, because that's what it says on the box. Face it, you had a good idea and you chickened out. You know what this brand of ice cream did when presented with mac and cheese? It made a flavor that tasted like mac and cheese. Oh, my complaining is melting my ice cream. Oh. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, does it taste like champagne? No. Oh. It does, you win this round. Oh, oh. Mm. Spoiler alert, hang on a sec. Mm. I know I had to cool down my anger, but... <laughs> mm. It turns out when you eat, no matter how hot and angry you are, if you still eat a giant spoonful of ice cream, Oh, you will get brain freeze. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not a uh, expert necessarily on um, champagne, but I do know that this isn't Corbell. Hey, the champagne's not Corbell. <gasps> well, just serve me a container of manure, why don't you? I've had a few different flavors uh, from this company. Each one of them good, and each one of them finds a way to balance the, uh, the the gimmicky flavor of it like while making it good. I had one that was pizza flavored. I had one that was a uh, Grey Poupon flavored. And this one with the champagne, yeah, the taste of champagne is is certainly there. But it's not it's not terribly strong. So you do get this really high quality ice cream that it is. It's very creamy, very uh very thick and very 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 good. Mm -mm. Like, whoa, <laughs> and mm -mm. it just came before I did. Whoa, I need to cut myself off from the champagne. You see, I wish I had this on New Year's. One, it's a, uh, it's a little melty. We don't have any bottles of champagne laying around the house. So it was just recently New Year's Eve. I could have just waited for this to melt and just down this at the stroke of midnight. I am a lot older now, so. Laura and I did spend New Year's Eve uh, eating ice cream and having a double feature of Strange Days in Four Rooms. So I'll have to uh, maybe keep this in mind for next year. I do recommend this. I th There's been flavors of this I missed. I missed the, I didn't get a chance to try the, uh, ironically, the mac and cheese one. And uh, there was a Tapatio one they had recently too. I didn't get a chance to try those, so I don't know how those turned out. But... They've got a really good track record with me. So if you're curious at all about this and you want to give it a chance to see if it's any good or not, champagne ice cream, it's pretty good. Now get to now get to work on the Slim Chickens ice cream. Thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe to our channel today, and we'll see you next time.